The late summer prairie landscape belongs to sunflowers. This year, when ample rains fell on normally dry, sandy soil, the yellow flowers exploded in a wondrous display. When you see it like this, you understand why Kansas is known as the sunflower state. A number of sunflower species are blooming now, but none are more beautiful than the common sunflower, bright yellow with a brown center. This Kansas state flower grows along ditches and lines most back roads, but it also populates disturbed areas in nearly pure stands. The grand scale of its abundance is perhaps understood only from the air. The flowers are aptly named, reminiscent of a glowing sun with golden rays. Wild sunflower plants produce many flower heads on branching stalks. The plants are variable from 2 to 12 feet tall. They grow throughout the state. Though each yellow blossom appears to be a single flower, a complex arrangement of tiny disc flowers occupies the brown center head. Pollinators of all kinds visit these tiny nectar tubes, helping fertilize them to produce copious seeds. Sunflower seeds feed a variety of wildlife species through the winter. And the thick plants make good protective cover. And looking at the vast numbers of sunflower plants spread across many wild locations, it's easy to see how seed numbers could be measured in trillions. It's why they are so common. Science aside, simply observing these cherry blossoms reflecting summer's warmth makes them unforgettable. I'm Mike Blair in the Kansas Outdoors.